I would say that I've been raised in St. Louis since I was born. I come from a mother and father. My father was in Vietnam, and him and my mother married. Uh, within the marriage, they had me and my sister. And uh, after that, him and my mom had problems, so then my mother and him uh, was in separation. And then my mother had to raise me and my sister. And then, with that being said, my father, when he came home from Vietnam, he was hooked on heroin. And my mother said when she had me when I was born, I used to tremble, and she never understood why. And the reason for the trembling was because I'm the blood of my father, and I inherited his heroin. My mother never did anything and still don't, you know. And a Baptist Christian woman, I have also been raised in church. I'm a backslider right now. I'm using heroin and crack cocaine, crack cocaine right now. And uh, all I can say is that, you know, the Heavenly Father has still, he's holding me. That's why I'm here. I got praying families that are praying for me. I also pray and know he's the only way, the truth, and the life. So, you know, the devil can't do nothing to me if the Lord don't allow it. So I try to keep the Heavenly Father in focus, although I'm an addict. And, you know... Went to school, graduated, had jobs, went to treatment five, six times. I don't have any kids. Um, went through all type of other things too, you know, but I guess I can say that um, I'm a Christian backslider, drug user, but I would like to get clean and that's my life. What's your biggest obstacle in getting clean and staying clean, Miss Nikki? Uh, putting the Heavenly Father first because I can't do it alone. So if I don't start getting back with the uh, Heavenly Father, it ain't going to work. I, I have to, he have to be my guidance. I have to get my focus back with the, with the, uh, you know, the right way, <laughs> the truth and the light. <laughs> what is he say I'm the Alpha and the Omega. He the beginning and the end, all this. So it ain't no other way. I got to, it ain't going to happen if I don't put them first. So I need to get off, repent, get back with the Heavenly Father. What are some of the things you've experienced out here on these streets that should have scared you straight to another oh, direction, but oh, you, you still kept I've on? I've seen a lot. I've seen people get their heads blown off. I, you know, uh, a guy one time or whatever, uh, me and my friend, we supposed to be turning a trick with him or whatever. He's like, yeah, I got money, dope and all that. We get to the house and we get in, he lock the door and whatever, put a knife to both our throat and get out. Give me what y'all, give me everything, give me the head, give me this, give me that. And whatever, and lucky he didn't kill me. So, you know, I stopped and hopped in their cars. That would have been my last ride. So, here I am and. How many friends have you lost out here? Oh, wow, plenty. Family members? Uh, well, my family members, family members that I've lost to it were all uh, religious and with the, the right way. I'm the only one in my family, may I say, too, since my father passed away. That's on drugs. I'm the only one. Everybody you, else is, you know, going around. How does your family treat you? Oh, marvelous. I see my mother every day, support her. You know, uh, anytime I want to go home, I can. I just can't come home with the dope scene. She's not going to have it, and I understand it and respect it. So you have a good relationship with your mom? Oh, uh, yeah, it's wonderful. And your siblings? I have them. Remember I said that? <laughs> I no, no brothers and sisters? One, remember I said... Siblings is I, kids. I know. No, siblings is brothers and sisters. And no, siblings is the kids. Uh -uh, siblings is your brothers and sisters. Kids oh. is kids. Oh, okay, I thought siblings was the mm -mm. Well, oh, siblings okay. is kids once they become brothers and sisters. Oh, okay. Now, they, they siblings, okay. Okay. but them would be your kids. 
What uh, what's your relationship like with you? Say you have a brother. No, a sister. A sister. How's your relationship? Oh, we love each other. How do they feel about your lifestyle? Uh, they want me to get it together, but they gonna support me, however, because they know my father. They know where I heard it. You know, yeah, the blood, the father, the seed. When do we get tired? I've been tired. But the Lord, I'm going to have a testimony. The Lord, uh, you know, like I say, that's why I love footprints. He, he, he ain't never went nowhere. He been carrying me the whole time. You seen them two footprints, it was him because he carrying me. So, yeah, yeah, been tired. What would be an ideal life for you once you get clean? What would you like to do? Um, well, uh, testimony to help other people that's headed my way. Have you been a, a, a help to people out on the streets? Oh, always, always. I, I've been, from day one, I always know to keep it 100. You can't be no snake and survive. What is your advice to the young girls who you see out on the streets? Don't, and... don't pick nothing up. Not even weed. Don't start nothing. Don't go that way. Once you do that, it's over. It's over. Don't do it. How many of them have you seen come out here and think that they know everything oh, and man, find out real on. fast. Oh, man, it's going on. They don't stop. You don't know it's nothing. You can't player. tell me nothing. You can't old. Get, you're right. Oh, they don't know no better. They'll figure it out. They'll but I'm this out. old. I got this old for a reason. That's right. You, I've been your age already. That's right. So that's how you not going to listen to me? But that's that That's that ignorance of you. We uh, did the same thing. That's right. We, that's couldn't right. no old people tell us nothing. That's we right. knew everything. Dang. That we that's just right. got here. That's right. So when you see them five, six months from when you just talked to them. They look totally different and all that. I say, look at you. Try to tell this one girl she 18. She smoking crack doing her. I say, you still pretty right now. Seen her a few months later, it's going away. You done lost two teeth already in 18? No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm trying to tell me. From the time you've been a little girl born till now, what, how have you seen the city change? What changes have you seen going on? Uh, as far as the streets, as far as just, just period, what have you seen that you're like, man, I never thought I'd see that? Well, when you in the hood, you never know what you might see. <laughs> but it's going on in the county, not too. But the hood is the hood. Yeah, so. What about the respect for the elders? How's that changed oh, out come here? come on now. That's respect. And the kids, come on now. Stop it. <laughs> kids, I can trick love the kids. This mama her. So, yeah, this mama her. Come on now. Oh, no, I probably got to go over there. Oh. She told me to. I don't know. You still have any good business in the house. Well, I'm waiting on your mama. Okay. I want some. I don't get no chocolate shake, huh, mama? By herself, mama? Uh -huh. Is she by herself? Oh. The boy watching your car. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'm waiting on you, mama. Okay. All right. <laughs> if you can go back and talk to a young Miss Nikki, knowing what you know today, what would you tell her? I would tell her. Stay focused. Don't go any other way besides putting the Heavenly Father first and stay focused with Him because you, ain't, you can't do nothing else. You know, that's the only way it's going to go correctly because our way of thinking it, you know, we was born sinners. So, you know, we got to put Him first. Being with your deep-rooted faith in church, is that what keeps you sane out here? Oh, yeah, no doubt. That keeps anybody Your strong sane. family background. Oh, yeah, no doubt. I got a beautiful uh, church family and family. I'm the only no one here right now. <laughs> but you get tired of being. You get, but I'm are you getting tired of being the oh, knucklehead? No doubt. No doubt. Do you have anything left to prove out here? Or you still got something to prove? No, no, just, just still. <laughs> 
just still not putting the Lord first, you know. That's so. all. In closing, Miss Nikki, if there's anybody you want to say something to, worried about you, wondering if you're okay, now's the time you can say it. Um, no, because everybody that I, uh, you know, er, it ain't many that don't dislike me. You know, everybody, I mean, that's one of the reasons, like, we at the gas station right now. They say, Nikki, you just go, because if you up here, then everybody else don't come. Everybody want to see Nikki, you know, but that's the spirit I got. So, you know. Everybody, no, nah, they want to see me and know me. They know I'm good because they come see me. I'm good people. We appreciate you taking time out with us, Miss yes. Nikki. Thank you very much. I'm good, yes. <laughs>